Today we will be showcasing GridDB's native query language, TQL, which is an offshoot of SQL, which is probably a query language you are familiar with. The two languages are actually very similar, but they of course have some notable differences. So on the left side, you can see a sneak peek of the commands we will run throughout the video. So as we mentioned, very SQL-like. And then on the right side, you can see a snippet of our Python script, which was used to insert the simple data set into our GridDB cluster. So this right here is the schema of the data we'll be querying against. So in this video, we will go over the basic structure of a query statement and the different methods to alter what results are returned. So first, I would like to show the simplest TQL query. So let's try that. So select all. So this will just, of course, return all the data in the data set. Um, so notice that unlike SQL, there was no table or container specified in the query. So this is because the query is run against a specific container or collection object. And so unless you're performing an aggregation query, you cannot specify individual columns. So this is everything. This is all the data. So in just like in SQL, the WHERE operator along with AND, NOT, OR, and parentheses are used to only fetch select data that meet a certain set of conditions. So for example here, we can do SELECT WHERE DAY OF WEEK. So DAY OF WEEK is one of the columns, SATURDAY. And this should return data that is from Saturday. So notice all the data here is from Saturday. So next up, um, if you want to use a conditional, sorry, if you want to use a conditional operator on a date or a, like a timestamp column, you cannot just compare against a string date or Unix, Unix epoch value. Instead, you need to use one of the built-in functions. So I'm gonna copy and paste this query because it's a little long. So, Select where the timestamp is greater than the time specified here. So in the data that's returned, the time should be greater than or after the one specified in the query, which is true. Okay, that's good. So next up, conditional operators for Booleans, also slightly different from its SQL counterpart. So for example, in SQL, you check to see if the column is equal to true or false, but in TQL it differs very slightly. So we would check if it's completed. So we would run select where completed. And they should return all the rows that are true, which it did. And then of course the opposite would be where not completed. Like that. Okay, and so by default, um, GridDB will return results in the order in which they were inserted into the database. So the oldest data is returned first. So to change this, we can use the order by operator, and then this can also be used with either the ascending or descending operator. So for example, we would do select order by timestamp ascending, whoops, sorry timestamp ascending so this will return the same data all of it but the the or, the data is now ordered by ascending order this way and so the opposite would of course be true so if we use descending instead it'll show the same thing but in reverse okay so, and also just like SQL, TQL supports the limit operator. So this will limit the number of rows returned by query. So for example, this query returns all the data, right? So all 167. So we can, we can limit it to just 100 rows, for example. Limit 100. And so it limits the return results to just 100. There's also the offset command. So if you wanted to fetch the next 100 rows past the initial 100 rows, we would do offset. So we would do select limit 100 offset 100. So this should return 
the next 100 rows past the initial 100, which it did, so it continues from there. Um, next up, oh, actually, sorry, one important thing to note is that when using limit and offset with a multi query, the specified numbers are per container, okay? So now the last thing is we'll just put all the small little things we learned together into one big query. So I'll copy and paste this because it's a little long. So here we're going to select the data where the temperature is greater than 20 and then we want it ordered by timestamp in descending order and we want it limited to, to 100 rows. So we do this and so we can see that all the temperatures are over 20 and that it's in uh, descending order starting with the latest time going downwards this way. Okay, so that's actually it for this video. So if you would like to learn more about GridDB and its query language, I have shared some links down in the description below. We hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. Thank you.